I mean, in feminist political geography, it was always about, you know, taking sides, really looking at those people who are disadvantaged, who are oppressed, who are powerless. Um, and of course, feminists always have looked at, at women for a long time, right? But uh, since the 60s already, I mean, there have been strong black voices like Audrey Lorde or James Baldwin who've made the argument, well, maybe in terms of oppression and of being powerless, black men share much more with black women than black women do with white women. And now we have these uh, sort of issues of intersectionality that you know, the subject positions today are so complicated. We are kind of many things likewise. I'm a woman from a certain social class background with a certain times of sexual orientation, with a certain family life and whatsoever. And to really take all these different things into account and then think what a feminist public geography then looks like and what the spaces are is complicated. And we found no answers yet, but we keep on looking.